If unhappiness at work just feels super heavy, if you're dreading Monday mornings or every morning, and you're wondering if it's even time to change jobs, listen, before you do anything drastic, this one confidence trick just might change everything about your happiness and productivity and confidence at work. Let's dive in. Hey, my name is Trish Blackwell. I'm your confidence coach, and I just want to give you a very powerful tip in today's video on what is one simple, oh gosh, just almost mind-blowingly simple life hack that you can do that will change the way you feel at work. The, whatever your job is, whatever industry you're in, imply this. Do this for one full week, one full work week. And I want to hear in the comments after you've done this how the difference feels. That's how confident I am in this strategy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get going. What is, what is this big thing? So drum roll, that big thing, the one simple thing that could turn all of your unhappiness around at work is to control your first thought of the day. Our first thought of the day, the first thing before you even get out of bed, either controls you or you control it. One of the things I love to do with my students in the College of Confidence is help with the mindset shifting about reminding you that you get to master your mind. You are the boss of your thoughts. Your thoughts are not the boss of you. And so that first thought of the day proclaims and sets the tone of the whole rest of the day. Now, if you've ever woken up and said, ugh, that's your first thought. Or if it's, ugh, I'm so tired. That's your first thought. So how do we think that the rest of the day is not going to go the same? Your first thought predicts the rest of the day. So let's master that. It's not that you won't think this. You're going to have that micro thought and go, oh, I don't. Okay. So then you're going to think, what would Trish say? You got to take that thought, look at it and say, does this make my day better? Is this going to make my day easier? And it, that those thoughts, they won't. What you can do with your thought now is to say, all right, I feel tired, but I have more than enough energy today. I'm going to have more than enough energy today. Or just a simple, simple mantra. Today is going to be a good day. Even if you don't feel it, even if you hate your job, what would happen? How would it change if you said today is going to be a good day? Today, I will win the day. Today, I'm going to walk and enjoy in peace. Today, I'm not going to be bothered by the toxic people. Today, I'm going to put boundaries on all the things that people are putting on me that are actually their job. Today, I'm going to master my mindset. Today is going to be a good day. That first thought of the morning, y'all, it's everything. And I want to encourage you for just a moment. Did you know that according to a 2019 CNBC study, 85% of people are unhappy at work. So it's time to us to make sure that you're in the 15% that are. Now, I wanted to give you three very simple things that you can do. First thing to really, to really master that first thought of the day. And the first thing is to let's stop being addicted to the snooze button. What you do when you press snooze too many times or at all, to be honest with you, is you tell yourself this day's not worth getting up for. You communicate to your subconscious, I'm too tired. This is too hard. So even just the act of pressing snooze says, I'm not ready. This is too much for me. And it sets you up to complain. So let's just get rid of the snooze button. And you might need to put your phone on the other side of the room in order to avoid that. That's fine. Whatever it takes to not snooze. That's where we're going to go because we want you to start your day with a win. Okay, number two, you've got to decide what that first thought is going to be in the morning before you go to bed the night before. So what I recommend to my students in the College of Confidence is that we you have affirmations and we actually have a whole list of affirmations. I've recorded it for my students. They have full access to my voice giving them the affirmations. And of course, they read them out loud and they do them from themselves. But you will what you speak in your mind is what will create the life you experience and the life you feel. So we can predetermine a few power affirmation phrases that can change everything for you. So that way, when you wake up and you are struggling with that feeling like, ah, do I have to? You will already know that you've predecided 
I am blessed and thankful to have a job. I am, I am master of my mindset and I'm going to take control of my attitude today. I'm going to create a new way. I'm going to be the best, most positive person in the room today, wherever I go, or maybe your job starts switching and it is time to switch. Well, I'm still going to be until I'm ready to go where I'm, I'm supposed to be. I'm going to water where I'm planted and be grateful for what I've got. So you can go to those because you've already been practicing them, writing them out. Affirmations work. I believe they're biblical. I believe they have deep power in them. And if you want my take on them, come to College Confidence, which we have info on that below. We'd love to, I'd love to walk you through that hand in hand and get, get, give you the affirmations that I've used and that so many of my students have used as well. Okay, the third thing that you can do to really turn around this thought process in the morning is to do gratitude. Do some sort of practice uh, act of gratitude within the first five minutes of waking up. You might do this on your hand, counting out Do you think of 10 things. Maybe you jot it down in a journal you keep on your bedside table. Maybe you have a gratitude app, but it is so imperative to start the day with gratitude. What you're doing is you're creating an atmosphere of positively saturated thoughts, and that's setting you up to have more happiness the rest of the day, even if you don't like your job. Okay. Attitude is everything and we have full control over it. I want you to, I want to remind you today that thoughts have energy. So let's make sure your thoughts are positive and powerful. Your life is a reflection of your thoughts and you are not a helpless victim of your own thoughts. Rather, you are a master of your own mind. As Louise Hay has said, Hey guys, there's one place on the internet that you can go to train your thoughts. This is what I like to consider the most encouraging place on the internet. It is my group coaching membership program where you get to be face to face with me and you get access to 40 plus courses plus live calls with me where I'm going to step by step, hold your hand on how to strategically with micro changes, change the way you think. When you change the way you think you change your life. So I'm so excited. If you're ready, if you're ready to train your thoughts officially, come join us in the College of Confidence. Check it out. The link is below, or you can just go to collegeofconfidence.com. But I'm super happy that we are connected here on YouTube. So we want you to do this. Commit, 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 commit. Commit to mastering the first thought of your day. So even if it's not automatic, the default thought isn't, isn't good, then don't get out of bed. Don't put your feet on the ground until you have chosen a better thought. And once you choose that better thought, you say it out loud. Even if it's something as simple as today is going to be a good day. So go on, hop in the comments, tell me you're in, and I'll see you on the next video here on my channel. Thanks for hanging.